They can't be mine. No, that's definite. They're not mine. Go away. What? Go out from under your life? Get away. Playing piggyback at my age. You're the prettiest millstone I ever had around my neck. You fool. We'll be very happy together if my back holds out. Put me down. Hey, Mr. Loophole, have you met Peerless Pauline? No, why, how do you do? Put me down, you fool. Oh, well, reluctantly. All right, let her go. Careful, man, you're talking to the woman I love. Yeah, well, Carter loves her, too. She's his girl. Hey, I just thought of something. Maybe Carter knows something about the stolen money. And if Pauline's his girl, maybe she knows her something, too. Well, if she doesn't, it'll be fun teaching her. Let me phrase it more delicately. Where were you when Jeff got bopped on the conk and clipped for his role, babe? Why, Mr. Loophole, surely you don't think that I had Ain't Dad, no. Anyone who looks at you can see that you're not, uh, hiding anything. You're a lawyer, aren't you? Uh-huh. They tell me you're a great lawyer. Who does? Not my clients. Certainly not the ones that were hung last week. <laughs> Have you solved your case? What case? Why, whatever case you're working on. Oh, let's not sit here and talk about little me. Let's talk about little you. Have you deposited $10,000 in the bank lately? Why, whatever made you say that? Well, you know what the French say, uh, cherchez la femme. Find the footprints. Peanut brittle? No, thanks. Well, there's no point in my staying here. Oh, don't go, please. Perhaps you'll think I'm forward. But last night, when I first saw you... And slammed the door in my face. I realized that you're the man I've been dreaming of. What do you eat before you go to bed? I waited so long to find someone like you. Oh, someone like me. I'm not good enough for you, eh? Oh, don't say that. I'm not good enough. Well, you ought to know. Oh, but I, I really have to go. Oh, huh? don't go. Uh, no, I... Oh, no, please. I, I can't stay right... Oh, no, stay. No, I, I'd love to stay, Oh, but... yes, please, really, stay. Your father wasn't by any chance an octopus, was he? Oh, no. No, I, I really have to go. I'll, oh, don't go, please. I'll be right back. Oh. I'm back. So sorry you have to go. The thing I like about you is that money doesn't go to your head. I hope you solve the case you're working on. Well, it's out of my hands. This has been a private investigation, but right now I could use the long arm of the law. Law? Oh, but you don't have to go right now, do you? Well, there's nothing to keep me here that I can see, from this angle. But we... why, we hardly know each other. I can be very entertaining if I want to be. There must be some way of getting that money without getting in trouble with the Hayes office. Oh, you'll love it. Come on, Chief. Are, are you sure we're not oh, being too hasty? No. After all, I am just a boy. You're, you're a trooper, an aerial star. Yeah. Well, you could be, too. You're tall, you're strong. You're a nearsighter. And to think I might have roamed the whole world over and never found you. Ready, darling? I know I'm gonna hate myself for this in the morning. Why, you look like a million. I'll settle for 10,000. Uh, suppose you go first. Why? Well, in case you fall, I'll be here to pick it up. Come on, now. Lift your body and clamp your foot on the ceiling. to you, Mrs. Murphy. Help! Help! There, I knew you'd like it. Say, I like this. I never thought we'd be hanging around together. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this shake. I see. Oh, Pauline. Let's never lose this thrilling moment. Think of it, you and I, heels over head in love. Do you run back? No. Oh, come on, let's dig. Aha! Penny from heaven. Hey, Pauline, help me down. Pauline, let me have that wallet. Oh, Pauline! 